gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome to my channel. I'm Cami. Today's video is going to be our one week update. I have had baby girl for a week now. I had her on the 16th. Um, so I am one week postpartum today and she is one week old today. Well, she'll be one week old at 3.50 p.m. Um, as you can see, she is sleeping right now. So yeah, um, I will do a labor and delivery story time at some point later on. I just kind of wanted to talk about the past week and how that's been. Um, so if you guys are new, I do have a three-year-old son. So adjusting um, with him has been, it hasn't been hard or anything. He just wants a lot of attention and luckily right now we have family in so he is getting quite a bit of attention um you know not just on baby ari but with him as well like they're playing with him and all that so it's really nice that he's getting attention um and he's loving it of course um but when we got home i posted the video of when we got home in my labor and delivery uh video if you guys like towards the end it shows how parker reacted when we brought baby sister home um and he's been really good about it he's crazy and rambunctious so you always have to make sure like He's not gonna accidentally kick her if he's, you know, doing his karate moves or, you know, what it might be. Um, he gets very concerned when she cries. He's like, oh no, baby's crying. He wants to give her her passy whenever the passy's not in her mouth. Um, he always wants to hold her. Um, so that's been really nice and unexpected because I honestly thought that he would like hate her and like it was gonna be a disaster. But luckily, it has not been like that. Um, and I'm lucky enough to have my husband home for another week because um, he got two weeks off for having a baby. So he's helping out a lot with Parker and making sure that Parker is getting the attention that he needs so that I can focus on a baby girl for these two weeks and just kind of getting used to everything. Um, so she pretty much sleeps all day long. She's kind of on the opposite schedule as of now. Although last night she did sleep very well, but I think that was because my family was over last night and um, they were all holding her and everything and she was more like awake than usual. Um, so she did sleep really good last night. Of course, when you have a newborn, you have to breastfeed every two to three hours. So I had to keep waking up every two hours to feed her, but I had to wake her up. Like she wasn't waking up, so I had to wake her up. Um, in order to feed her but yeah she's doing really good when we were in the hospital she passed all of her um, sugar tests so that was really nice because I did have the gestational diabetes and honestly I am just glad to be able to eat regular food again um, that has been something that has been very nice to just eat like a normal person again um, feeding is going pretty well for the first couple days I think I got my milk in on the third day um, after having her because we we had we were home at that point um, and I think I got my milk in my mom my mom my husband had bought me some of those like like lact lactation cookies he got from Walmart and he also got me some like lactation tea to help with your milk supply and I had those and I had a bot body armor because I was wanting my milk to come in and I'm not sure if those helped or it was all just like a coincidence that I happened to get my milk in on the third day or whatever but I will continue to use those products throughout breastfeeding because you know they're supposed to help your milk supply and I definitely leak and I have to wear the buoy pads and all of that um you have to honestly wake her up to eat because she just wants to sleep all of the time um she came out six pounds it was 4.88 but they said six pounds five ounces and when we left the hospital she had lost the four ounces so she was about six pounds and I'm sure she lost a little bit more they had us they had me take her to her first appointment the next day after we had gotten out of the hospital and that honestly just seemed kind of pointless because 
she had just gotten at the hospital the other day they didn't even tell me her weight while we were at the doctors yeah so i'm sure it was like five pounds something um i'm not sure the, her next appointment will be on the first so we'll find out you know if she's gaining weight and all of that stuff then um but that appointment was just kind of pointless they literally weighed her they checked her eyes um she hasn't had a hearing test done because while we were in the hospital she was just moving too much and they wanted to get us out and so we have a referral to see an audiologist but i'm pretty sure she can hear because she you know jumps and all that to loud sounds and whatnot um so yeah that that it will be later on in february that we have to take her to do that but she did not have jaundice they said but then when we took her to that appointment the doctor had said she had a little bit of jaundice but that he wasn't concerned so i'm not because the pediatrician checked her out of the hospital and said she didn't and that guy said she had a little bit so who knows <laughs> uh, but nothing concerning I think she's a beautiful color yes I do um, but everybody comments on how little she is because Parker was 7 pounds 8 ounces um, and she's actually half an inch taller than Parker which is just funny um, because she was supposed to be, you know, little and all of that stuff. She's got very long toes and like skinny, I don't know, you guys can't see her feet. I'll have to post a picture of it. Um, but yeah, like her legs are like skinny and she doesn't really have a lot of fat on her as compared to Parker it was like chubbier and had like short stubby feet. And she's got long like skinny toes and they're just kind of like the opposite. Um, but I do think they have similar features. Her hair is definitely lighter than Parker's was. Um, and they don't exactly have the same nose. Like their nose is a little different. Yeah, he's got a little different nose. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of it as far as the week has gone. She, hopefully the sleeping gets better like it was last night. Um, but we'll see. I'm just so happy that she's here and that everything went well. Because I think she's perfect. He's a He's a He's sleeping. As far as my postpartum, um, I am taking Tylenol to help with the pain. They were supposed to prescribe me something and then when I went to CVS to like try to get it, they said that I didn't have a prescription for it. So I'm just taking Tylenol um, to help with that because it was supposed to be like Motrin and like 800 milligrams. but. I'm taking Tylenol, so yeah. <laughs> um, the bleeding, I'm still bleeding and I'm still wearing diapers. I will show you guys my belly after um, I finish talking, but yeah, I have some like discomfort, you know, in that area. Um, it's, you know, not all, all better yet, um, but I think probably in another week or so I'll feel much, much better and like I can do more I kind of feel very lazy and I'm not sure emotionally how I feel yet um, I haven't really thought about much honestly I just take care of her and that's kind of just what's been going on um, and so I'm not really sure emotionally how I feel I haven't just really taken the time to process anything yet who knows I might have like a breakdown <laughs> um, I don't know but I'm just really thankful for the people that have been around. Um, it's just been nice. And yeah, for postpartum, everything is just, you know, going good. My milk's in. I'm feeling okay. Not anything crazy. Um, and yeah, I will post some pictures of her. And I will show you guys my belly now. I will put her in her bassinet. And then I will show you guys my postpartum belly for one week. Love is like a roller coaster, but I'm trying to hold on. I don't want it to stop. Even though we fight sometimes and it feels like a war zone, I still care about us. How do you move on when everything goes wrong? I'm trying to find a way to get you out of my head. Don't know how to cope with being so broken Girl, I can't forget about what we said I just wanna love you a little bit more Don't just walk away from me and close the door Baby, pull me closer 
Yo. Yeah. 